My name is David Delgado, and I'm a first-year graduate student in the Department of Material Science and Engineering. And I work in Dr. Kevin Schultz's group. Um, I, sort of, I have two main thrusts of research, one being polyelectrolyte complexes and looking at their mechanical properties, and second, developing what's called a love wave technique. Now, before I begin, I'd like to talk about the sort of main thrust of our, of our lab group. It involves using a crystal, involves using what's called a quartz crystal microbalance, um, which uses a quartz crystal, which is a piezoelectric material. Now, what's important about piezoelectric material is that if you apply a current through it, it will change its crystallographic orientation. If you apply an alternating current through it, you create what's called a resonance frequency. Now, if you take that baseline resonance frequency of the crystal and then deposit a thin film between about 10 to 200 microns of a, say, a polymer, that resonance, baseline resonance frequency will change. Now, by looking at that change, and we can do some, and doing some tricky math, we can look at the mechanical properties of that thin film, such as elastic modulus or phase angle. Now, I use a technique in what's called a polyelectrolyte complex. And this involves looking at two different polymers that have obviously charged backbones. Um, and we're able to chemically start um, to complex these two, uh, these two polymers together and use the quartz crystal to study in situ monitoring of how these thin films form. And this sort of research has applications in healthcare and also in energy. Moving forward, I also work with what's called a love wave, which exploits the same piezoelectric effect However, there's some really different engineering um, that goes on within the sensor. And what it allows is that it allows detection of uh, materials about 1 to 10 microns thick, um, but only detection. And so the goal of my sort of project is to take uh, the, that, that, again, that frequency shift of the baseline versus the, the positive crystal and try to figure out some, um, some tricky math to probe the mechanical properties of even thinner films. Um, in doing so, it will open this technique up to be able to use by the larger community to probe even thinner films beyond what the quartz crystal microbalance can reach. And this will have you know, applications in energy, in health, in um, biosensors, and other uh, various aspects. Uh, and with that, I'd like to conclude this video. If you have any questions, you can, of course, contact me in my email, which is David Delgado on D-A-V-I-D-D-E-L-G-A-D-O 2020 at u.northwestern.edu. Thank you very much for your time.